have your way in this place, O oh God, as we come to lift you up and magnify you, O oh God. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say, God, have your way in this place, oh God. Have your way in this place, oh God. Not my will, but your will be done, oh God. Oh God, we come to lift you up, to magnify you, to give you all the glory, to give you all the praise, oh God. Asking that you forgive us of all our sins, oh God. As we repent, oh God from all evil works, oh God, from all sin, oh God. Wash, cleanse, and purify us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Set a fire down in our soul on yes. today, oh God. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decrease that you increase, oh God. Word my mouth only say the things that you would have me to say. Let our hearts be receptive unto your word, oh God. Let it go deep down in our soul, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, that we may know your will, oh God. That we may know your way, oh God. Oh, in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise oh, because oh. we owe God all the praise. We owe God all the praise, all the glory. As you come on, we ask that you share, share, share the word, share the word, share the word with someone that may need to hear the word on today. Let me encourage you with the word of God on today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Get our hearts ready to receive what the Spirit of God is saying unto us today. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we won't forget to give you the praise. We won't forget to give you the glory for what you are doing and what you are about to do, oh God. Oh God, we trust you, God. Our confidence is in you, oh God, to have your way, God. Yes, God. To have your way. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will start off in Matthew. Hallelujah. Follow us in the word. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Hallelujah. And I will read the seventh verse, starting at the seventh verse. Hallelujah. When you have it, just say amen. I'm excited about the word of God yes. to be enlightened even the more. Hallelujah. Yes. To be changed even the more. Yes. To receive even the more. Yes. And I thank God for his word, for his word is blessed. Hallelujah. It says the seventh verse, and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray. This is Jesus telling us how to pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Follow me over to Luke, hallelujah, Luke, the 22nd chapter, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh yes God, starting at the 42nd verse, saying, Father. If it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're speaking about praying for God's will to be done in every situation. Praying for God's will to be done in every situation. Not our will, but God's will to be done. Hallelujah. His will is his desire for us. The want, the, the, the purpose, what God has purposed in us, the plan that God has for us, for it to be done in our life. The, the, the decision, what God has decided of our life to be carried out. For God's will to be done and not our own. Hallelujah. And a lot of times we don't want God's will. We want our will, our own desires, our own our own passions, our own uh, uh, wants. We want it to be carried out. We are trying to carry it out in our own will, but we want God's will to be done. Hallelujah. And Jesus began to teach about prayer and so forth and began to tell them. He said, and when you pray, do not use vain repetition as 
the heathens do. He said, don't, don't use vain repetition. Don't, don't use empty words. Don't just be saying something just to be saying something because it feel good at that time for you to say it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use empty words. Don't, 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 just, don't, don't just be chattering and, and, and just stammering words out of your mouth and not, un, and not having an understanding of what you're saying. He said, don't do what they're doing. They're using empty words. This is what they, when, when you pray, he said, do not use these vain repetitions. Don't use empty words. Don't yeah. use chatter. He said, as the heathens do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words just because people feel like I know what to say. Yeah, come on now. I know what to say, and, 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 but is it God's will for your life? Is this, uh -huh. is, is this what God desires for your life? Is this what God wants for your life? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Some people don't want to ask God, what is your will? What is, what is your will for my life? Can your will be done in my life? As you sit down your will, and pick up his will for your life, we will go further in life. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because when people want their own will to be done, they want things to be done in their life what they want to have done in their life, not what God purposed for their life. And a lot of us, we have made that mistake over and over again. Yes. We have decided how we want this thing to go. We, 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 how we have purpose the, the way that we chose this thing to go. The, the, the people that we chose to be in a relationship with and it didn't work out, but we blame God. That's something that we chose. The mistakes that we made when we broke the law and we got in trouble for it, those, that, that's, that, those are the choices that we made. That was our will. That wasn't God's will for our life. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but praying for God's will to be done in every situation. Not in some situation, in every situation. Each and every situation. It don't matter what situation it is that I want God's will to be done in my life. I cannot decide my will. Okay, I, I, I jump over here and say, I want this done like this. But I haven't asked God, God, what is your will? Let your will be done in my life. And if we ask God, 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 let your will. Stop wanting what somebody else and how they doing it. If you don't know if they make it, that's their, that's their will. You don't know if that's God's will for their life. Oh, yes. I don't care how good it looks. Oh, yes. Yes, God. God, what is your plan? Let your plan oh, yes. be done in my life. Let it be carried out. He said, don't you be like the heathens just because they using many words. He was not telling them to keep praying. You know that you couldn't keep praying and praying and praying over the same situation that's going on in your life. But he said, do not just be up with just uh, having empty words and, and chatter and, and so forth. So God wasn't saying stop praying about the same situation. But God was saying, just don't be using empty words. If you want this, my will to be done in your life, Okay, you trust me that my will is gonna be done in your life. That you 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 have an expectation that my plan is gonna be carried out. You have the faith to believe that what the plan and the purpose that I have in your life is gonna be carried out. Oh yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't you want God's will to be carried out, to be done in your life? Praying for God's will to be done in every situation. Sometimes we feel like that thing, that, that thing too bad for, for God's will to be carried out. God, why, why is this? Why is that? But when you want God's will, sometimes you're going to feel the storm. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to feel the hit. Sometimes you're going to go through some things. But when it's God's will, guess what? You're coming out of that thing because God is in it with you. Oh, yeah. The word. He said, therefore, do not be like them. <laughs> he said, in this manner, Therefore, pray. He was not just telling them to just pray this prayer, but he was telling them the way. If you want this thing to be in God's will and God's way, you he said, pray this way right here. He said, our Father <laughs> in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come now on earth as it is in heaven. No, your kingdom come. Your will be done. God, let your kingdom come. God, what you have purpose for my life in heaven, what you have already written down about me, 
what you have already had planned for my yes. life. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it come down from your kingdom, oh God, down yes. unto me. Let your will be done in my life. Yes. Not my way, God, not my will, but your will, God. Yes. Your desire, the, the, the very thing that you purpose and design for my life. Oh God, your kingdom come. Your will be done. We ain't gonna understand everything on earth as it is in heaven. He, whatever that God have written in heaven about us, whatever is already written in heaven, how our life should go about, how we should carry it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the purpose and the plan, the design that God has already designed. Lord, let it come from the heavens down to the earth in my life. Let it be carried out in my life, God, because I don't know the right way. I don't know, God. I don't want my will to be done, God, but I want your will to be done. Everything that you intended for my life, everything that you have set out for my life to go, oh, God, yeah, 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 yeah. let it be done, oh, God. Oh, yes. Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because we're trying to do this thing our own way. We're trying to do it in our own will. We're trying to carry things out. And you got to ask God, God, is this your will for my life? Oh. Is this your desire for my life? Is this the purpose of God uh, yeah, yeah, for my life? Uh, is this what you intended? Because some things that's in our life, God never intended for it to be. That was our will. That's what we intended. You got in that relationship, you didn't uh, you, you, you didn't know that that relationship was gonna be bad for you. You didn't know that it was gonna go like that. You didn't know that that man was gonna beat you or that woman was gonna slap you or cheat, cheat on you or steal from you. You didn't know all of that. But since we didn't ask God what is his will, that's a decision that we made for our will to be carried out. And sometimes when our will is carried out, whatever come with that, Whatever come with that is going to be carried out. So you got to say, you know what, God, not my will no more. I'm tired of messing up. I'm tired of doing it my own way and carrying out my own purpose. But I, yeah, 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 I look to you, God, so that you can carry this thing out that you intended, oh God, that's already written down in heaven. I don't care what situation it is. I don't care what situation. You got to say, you know what, God? I want your will to be done. Oh, yeah. I, I, I want your, your will to be done. So Jesus was telling them, uh, just pray God's will. Yes, Lord. Just pray God's will. God, let your will be done. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have faith of what you're asking. God, let your will. It takes faith in God. The very things that's kept secret that we don't know. The, the, the very things that's hidden that we don't know, we gotta have faith to know if you say, God, let your will be done, you're not gonna see everything that's gonna go on for your life or everything that's planned for your life. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, but that's where your faith kick in at. That's where your faith come in because I gotta believe God. If I say, God, let your will be done, I gotta trust his will for my life. Uh, yeah, I gotta be obedient unto God that God continue to reveal his wisdom and what he has called us to do and what he has called us to discern. Uh, yeah, yeah. Praying for God's will to be done in every situation. You can't stop just because that situation seems like it's out of hand. Just because that situation seems like it's painful. Uh, yeah, you can't stop praying, but you gotta say, God, let your will be done. Uh, God, let your will be done in every situation. Yes, Lord. Uh, yeah, yeah, go over to Luke, the 22nd verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We got God, we need God's will to be done be brought to pass in our life. We need God's will to happen in our life. We don't need to try to make this thing happen for ourselves and go our own way and say, I can make my own decision. Uh, this is my will for my life. Uh, no, I don't want my will for my life. Uh, my will get me in some messed up, <laughs> some messed up situations, some messed up uh, relationships, uh, some money problems, uh, some depressed problems, some stress problems, some doubt problems. I don't want my own will, but I want God's will to be done in my life where I don't stay the same way, that change takes place, and that I get to the very place that God want me to get to. Don't you want to get to the place that God purposed you to be, where he designed for you to be? You don't want to stay stuck and have to keep starting over because of your will. You got to say, God, not my will, but your will be done. 
like it's shaking, when it seems like you're going through, when it seems like money funny, your honey acting up, you got to stop changing the wheel and you got to say, God, let your will be done. Because guess what? If it comes, God already got everything situated. God going to bring you through it regardless of what? He says, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Ha, huh, yeah, yeah. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. <laughs> Jesus said, wait a minute, Father, if it is your will, if this is your desire, God, if this, this is your purpose, if this is what you have chose for my life, he said, take this cup away from me. Mm. Take it away from me. He was not trying to get out of it, but he knew what was in the cup. My Lord. My Lord. He was not trying to, he already knew uh, yeah, yeah. What, what, what was about to happen. He was about to go and be crucified for us, for our sin, for our wickedness. He was about to go through for us. He said, Father, if it is your will, if this is your desire, if this is your will, if this is what you have purpose and chose for my life, he said, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Jesus said, I know what's in the cup. He said, I already know what's in the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a cup that we couldn't, we couldn't drink out of the cup. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had to carry a cup that he couldn't give up. Oh, but I don't shop. Because all of us was in the cup. Oh, 
Everything was in the cup. The Spirit of God, yeah, yeah, the Spirit part of Jesus knew what was in the cup, but the man part of him, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, made him cry out to God and say, God, if this is really your will, Jesus, if this is really your will for me to take this cup. If, if, if it's really your will, God, if, if, if this is really what your purpose for my life, uh, he said, now I'm asking you, God, this was his prayer. How many times have we stopped and we asked God, God, is this your will? I don't care if it's dealing with your children. I don't care if it's dealing with your spouse. I don't care if it's dealing with your job. I don't care if it's dealing with your money. I don't care what situation it is. Have you asked God? God is this your will for my life? Let your will be done, God. Because I don't know, God. I don't want my will to be done. It won't turn out the same way. But if I let your will be done in my life, if I let your will be carried out in my life, I know that it's going to all work together for my good. I know that it's all for my good. So it don't matter. You got to say, yeah, they lied on me. It's in my cup. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus. They betrayed me, but it's in the cup. Oh, but God, let your will be done. Let them keep on lying. Let them keep on betraying. Oh, Jesus. Because I need your will. Oh, Jesus. And I want your will to be done. I want it to be carried out no matter what situation that I'm in. Every situation in my life, let your will be done no matter the circumstance. Let your will be done no matter the condition in my life. Let your will be done, God. Your Your will be done. Your will, God. Your purpose. Your design. God, you are a great designer. I trust your design, God. I don't trust my own, God. You designed my life. You designed my life. You decided my life. And I got to trust you. Let your will be Oh, yeah, yeah. Lord, let your will be done. Oh, yeah, yeah. In my life. He said, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. He said, take it away from me, God. Take it away from me. If this, if this, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, not my will, not what I want, God. When it feels uncomfortable, when I know it's gonna be painful, when I know I'm going through the storm, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I, I just wanna give up, and I just wanna throw in the towel. But God, not my will, but your will be done in my life. I want your purpose to be carried out in my life. The very desires that you have for my life to be carried out. But after Jesus, after he prayed, look, look, he got an answer. And a lot of times we're going to get an answer. And it might not be the answer that we want. When God said no, whatever answer that God give you, when you in his will, it is the best answer. Oh, Jesus, look when he got through, when he said, not my will, have you told God? Not my will, God. I don't want my will no more. I want your will to be done. I want it to be carried out. Because my will can be wishy-washy. My will can get me caught up. My will can get me outside of God. My will can get me in the bed with somebody that ain't my spouse. 
And a lot of times we don't like the answer that we get when it comes from God. When God say no, when God said no, we get mad at God. When God don't answer what we have allowed our will to be for our life, we start doing things. We, we start doing things our own way and we wonder and we get mad at God because God ain't answered. God ain't showed up. God ain't blessed. But have you asked God, God, let your will be done in my life? He's with us through the storm. He's with us through the pain. He's with us through the loss. Yes. But we can't act like we're going through more than Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, my God. We can't act like that we got all, everything that's in our cup can't compare to Jesus' cup. And guess what? All of us, all of us got a cross. We got to carry our own cross. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to carry our own cross. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to tell God.
Don't shut God out because you feel like you got that part figured out. And that since that's working good, they got to be God's will. No, that ain't always the case. It can be painful, and it's still God's will. It can be hurtful, but it's still God's will. Because God can stop it. God can block it. God can do whatever he want to do, but you got to trust God. It's going to take your faith. It's going to take our faith, our full confidence in God to say, God, let your will be done. We sing the songs. We pray the prayer. God, let your will be done. But this thing got to be sincere. Oh, God, let your will be done in my life. You may not want it to go that way. You might not want it to go that way, but if this is God's will, God, let your will be done. Let your will be done because, God, you, you, your, your plan is perfect. Yes. Your plan is perfect for my life. Your design is perfect for my life. Yes. Yes, God. What you have chose for my life, God, I know that it's the right plan. Yes. I know that this is your will for my life. Oh, yes. When we pray and we believe, we have faith that, God, I got to trust you. God may not stop the storm. God may not stop the sickness. God may not stop them from lying on you. Whatever hurtful thing, whatever situation it is. But guess what? I come to encourage you on today that God going to get you through it. If you let his will be done and not your will be done. But if you let God will be done, guess what? The answer is going to show up. And I'm praying that God, your will be done. Not our will, God, but your will be done. Oh, yes, God. And forgive us, God, for all the times, God, that we let our will be carried out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we blame you for our will, God. But God, we're sorry for that. We repent of that, God. We want your will to be done in our life. Not Oh, Jesus, let it be carried out in our life, God. Oh, Jesus, we call upon you and we say, God, if this is your will for me to go through this storm, let your will be done. Give me the strength to carry it out. Give me the strength to walk it out. Let your will, let your will be done, God. Oh, if it's your will for me to preach your word, let your will be done, God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, in every situation, in every circumstance, let your will, your will, God, your will be done. Your will be done in my health, in my body. Oh, Jesus, in my children, let your will. Be done, oh God. In my marriage, let your will be done, God. In this ministry, let your will be done, God. Not our will, but your will, God. Your will, your will, God. Let it be done, oh God. Let it be done, God. Not my way, not my will, but your will, God. Your way, God. Let it be done. Let it be done, oh God. Let it be done, God. Oh, Jesus. That's what we got to pray. Because God knows what's best. God knows what's best. We think we know what's best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We think we know what's best. But we don't. That's why we keep bumping our heads. That's the reason why we keep being depressed. That's the reason why we keep being stressed. That's the reason why we don't got no joy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We ain't got no peace. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Father Rosha. You don't know the right way. You got to get connected to God for real, for real. And say, God, let your will be done. I'm asking God for his will to be done. I don't want to go my own way in my own will. But I want God's will to be done in my life. In every area, in every situation, I want God's will to be done. Don't 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Ain't you tired of starting all over and hitting the replay button? Ain't you tired of pretending like you really got it? Ain't you tired of what I don't see? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. But you got to say today, God, not my will, God. Not my will, but your will be done. God, I need your will to be done in my life. Oh, Jesus, I'm praying for your will. I'm praying for your will to be done in my life. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to keep making the same mistakes. Oh, Jesus, when I'm going through storms, when I'm being tested, oh, Jesus, oh, God, I know that I'm able to stand. I know that I'm able to get through because it's not my will, but be done in my life in the name of Jesus strengthen us God bring us out God victorious God we thank you Lord for releasing the answer God we thank you Lord that the heavens are open God oh Jesus pour out oh Jesus pour out oh Jesus pour out the answer will be released how dare you whether it's the answer you want or you don't want, it's still favorable unto you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's coming from God Almighty. It's coming from the heavens. <laughs> that God got you covered. I don't care how bad that storm gets, how bad that wind blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much the earth shake. If you just trust God, we got to trust God. Oh, Jesus. I don't care how bad. It may hurt our hearts sometimes, but if we trust God, God gonna heal it. God gonna bring us out. We already got the victory. He took it up on the cross for us. Oh Jesus, He was beaten for us. Oh Jesus, woo! Ah, have your way. As we get ready to go into prayer, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We're praying for God's will to be done, not our will. But God's will to be done. And if we pray that God's will to be done, God gonna show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, God. I told you all of us got a cup to drink. All of us got a cross to carry. Oh, Jesus. And God, he's going to anoint us. He's going to strengthen us to get through it, to be able to carry it, to be able to drink it, and to pray for our enemies, to love them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, if we just trust God. And if we trust his word, oh, Jesus, he told us greater works that we shall do. Oh, and I just believe God's word and I believe God's presence is already in the house. His power is already in the house. His yoke destroying anointing is already in the house. His burden lifting anointing is already in the house. Whatever it is, God can heal it. Whoever it is, God can deliver it. You just gotta believe what God say and you gotta say, I can't And we cancel out every backlash spirit. Oh, Jesus. We cancel out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we lift you up. We magnify you. We give you glory. We give you praise for your word, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. And we get ready to go into prayer. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Let us pray sincerely from our hearts uh, that God may hear our cry, that God may hear our prayers. Uh, oh, Jesus, uh, let the sweet aroma of God, uh, let it be released from your house. Uh, oh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, we're changing our ideals uh, and our desires uh, for God ideals uh, and God desires uh, what he has designed for us. Uh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, Let them feel it down in the 
they saw God. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I give you the glory. I give you the praise, oh God, for your power, God. The power of the Holy Ghost. The Jesus. Go with us as we get ready to go into prayer. Oh God, if you don't have a church home, come visit us. Come. We would love to have you as a member here at United Kingdom Tag Team Ministries. We at 3101 East Washington Avenue in North Little Rock, Arkansas, where our pastor is, Pastor Shandon Ellis. And I'm Evangelist Lady Ellis. And the United Kingdom Tag Team family would love to welcome you into the house of God, where it's no smoking mirrors, no strange fire, just holy fire. No made up stuff but the anointing of God, the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, I thank you, Lord. We welcome you here on Sundays at 10 30 in Sunday school. Worship services at 11 15. We welcome you into the house of God. May God be with you. United we stand. Hallelujah. We love you with the love of God. Hallelujah. Be blessed and pray for us to go on to do the things that God has called us to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes, God.